hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today is another vlog another med school vlog so here i'm just getting ready for the day doing the usuals brushing my teeth having a shower and just basically just prepping myself before placement So I decided to just get myself a drink to take to placement and also pack a few things for placement. So I've got my pen, glasses, purse, ID badge, my water bottle or my bottle of my drink, and stethoscope, notepad, and also my logbook, as you can see at the back, and uh, my Oxford handbook of geriatrics. So these are the stuff that I'll be putting in my bag and taking to placement. And this is my scrubs that I'm taking as well. I decided to just add a snack and now I'm off to placement. So for placement, I am going to the orthopedic ward where I'll be seeing the geriatric patients. So I've just taken the lift up because I couldn't be bothered to take the stairs. <laughs> so I took the lift to the top, top floor. And then look what I saw in the lift. It says Jesus is King. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> a cute Christmas tree in the staff room. Anyways, I need to put my bag somewhere. I'm actually in the toilets because I need to change quickly. Um, but I'll change and then I'll catch up with you guys. Hi guys. So I thought I'll just talk to you guys before I go. So currently change and then I'm going to the orthopedics ward. We are pretty much going to see the geriatric patient on the orthopedics ward. And the common, because I was at placement yesterday, the common presentation is patients who basically had a fall or like a mechanical fall. And they're mainly in the hospital due to a hip fracture. They, waiting for surgery or they've already had surgery. And the common presentation that we see is um, someone who's had a fall, hip fracture, and their legs are like shortened on the affected side, is externally rotated. Um, might insert an image maybe somewhere on this side, showing you like a common presentation, not of the person obviously, but like an image from Google or something. Um, yeah, so I need to get going. Um, I can't show you much in placement, but I'll catch up with you guys later on in the day. So, bye guys. Hi guys, I just thought I would show my face and just talk more about my week. So, this week I've been doing orthogeriatrics. And just for those who might not be a medic or they don't know who, also, like, what's orthogeriatrics is i'll explain to them because i know i have um medics who watch my channel and also non-medics too so it's only fair just to explain so basically also geriatric is care of elderly patients who are under orthopedics so they are usually inpatients and orthopedics elderly patients and the common presentation that you might see is a patient who has had a fracture like a hip fracture um, a femur, like it could be anything basically, but the main cases we see is a patient who recently had a fall and they require, you know, surgery and they're under orthopedics, however, they're elderly patients, so I'll explain that properly. But anyway, so that's what I've been doing this week. Today I've got a day off, so it's a chance for me to just catch up with some lecture notes. I have like tons of things to do, something called scripts module. I think a vlog up here or up here where I was doing my script modules for like U3 but I have some for U4 as well and it's just like a bunch of like online modules that you have to complete and it's just time consuming <laughs> but yeah so I need to like get that done and also in my fourth year so I have to do a dissertation and my dissertation is about childhood obesity so we got the chance well I got the chance to get a self-directed SSC so I picked topic and I picked childhood obesity topic on my mind I'm doing research and I've started the introduction of my dissertation and I'm hoping it goes well um if you've watched my video about my story time when I did my dissertation for my biomedical science degree you would know that I went through like 
struggles due to my, my laptop and stuff like that. So I'm making sure this time, like, my dissertation goes smoothly and no, like, errors. And try my best to try and get it done. It's actually due next year. Obviously, I've got loads of time, but you know how time flies. So I'm trying to see if I can get as much done as quick as possible. And I have a tutor who I have to send my dissertation to quite often. So I've got like mini deadlines for myself. What else? Oh yeah, and last week I had a week of global health, which was all online. And in that week, we also had talks about electives. So currently I'm in my fourth year. This is your first time here. My name is Helena and I'm a fourth year medical student. So it's my fourth year. And in my fifth year, I have to do an elective. It's still time, but I'm starting to think about what I want to do for my electives. And I really, really want to do my electives in Nigeria, but I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. So I need to start doing my research about where exactly I can do my electives. But the reason why I decided to put it out here, because I know I do have a few Nigerian subscribers and even Nigerian medics. So I was just thinking, if any of you guys know like anything about, you know, people that want to do electives uh, from abroad to Nigeria, like how to go about it, if you know new people and connections or like just lead me to the right direction basically. I've been doing some like research and I found some but yeah, like I'm still doing my research basically, but if anyone knows about like where I can do Alexis in Nigeria, please let me know. You can leave a comment down below or preferably you can just send me like a message on Instagram or an email. So I'll put like my Instagram here. My Instagram is actually Helena Life underscore. I'll put it here. And then my email is info.lifeofhelena at gmail.com. I'll put it in the description box below. So I want to do my I want to split my lectures between the UK and Nigeria. I have other countries in mind too, in case that doesn't work out. Anyways, let me know if you have any good like suggestions, if you can help me out, that would be great. I have still like time to sort it out, I have the whole of next year to sort it out, but I thought the earlier the better. So if you guys like know any information, please let me know. Oh yeah, so also with geriatrics, we've been able to like see and also learn a lot about medication and polypharmacy, how it's so common when you're like working with elderly patients because they tend to have a combination of medications and polypharmacy is pretty much a thing that you do see in geriatrics. And I feel like this placement is helping me to learn more about, you know, drugs, what drugs you have like like their side effects and how it affects elderly people and how sometimes drugs can even lead to patients feeling like drowsy or like having a fall or postural hypertension like just stuff like that really so it's been helpful for me personally and I, I actually really like how with ortho geriatrics you see that they work a lot with a lot of the MDTs so it's not just strictly just doctors you see the doctors nurses social workers occupational therapists physiotherapists uh, pharmacists geriatricians and you see the orthopedics so they all like work together to try and treat these patients and not even just in hospital especially the occupational therapists helping them whilst you know they you know get back to their normal life at home or even consider whether they need to go into like a care home or a nursing home. So it's been interesting to see that dynamic during placement. I've been enjoying it, but yeah. Now I need to get cracking with revision. I feel like I've been talking a bit too much now. <laughs> I always say this in my video, I'm always like, I'm talking too much. But yeah, anyways, um, I hope you guys you know, enjoy this video. I hope you guys are, you know, enjoying my vlogs that I'm putting up this month. I'm trying my best to like upload more videos as much as possible. And I was actually watching my video where I did my vision boards for 2021. And one of it was actually to reach 1000 subscribers. And I'm actually like so happy that that was, you know, ticked off. And do you know, it's really weird because when you're uploading videos, you sometimes you feel like it's not impossible, but you feel like getting 1,000 subscribers would be like so long. 
but I'm really grateful that people are actually subscribing to my channel and actually enjoying my videos. It actually means a lot, so like, thank you guys so much. But in terms of watch hours, let's just think about that because <laughs> I am doing, okay, not terrible, like, I'm like halfway, th well, more than halfway th um, the last time I checked to the, because you need to get 4,000 watch hours. And it's like, to be fair, it's my fault because I'm not as consistent um, as before in terms of uploads. I've been trying my best, so hopefully one day, you know, I'll be able to get monetized. But right now, to be fair, like putting out videos is just like fun, like for me. It's just a way to like take my mind of the vision sometimes. And I was watching um, Jemima's uh, video. She is a YouTuber in Nigeria and she was talking about like how um, editing is like so annoying and I could totally relate like for me I enjoy like editing I actually don't like it but because I don't have the time it becomes annoying to me and you know quite long I wish I had more time to like just sit down and be able to edit videos the way I want to but sometimes it's like nah <laughs> I have so much to do I'll link her video in the cards actually because she has really interesting videos about like Nigeria um, and also like I like how she puts different content for like students on how to like you know ace your exams, answer exam questions, anatomy questions, physiology like she does quite a lot of videos really and I'm sure you enjoy it and I love watching um, how medicine or how medical students like how it's like in different countries like the similarities and differences and it's nice to see like how it's not nice to see how everyone's in the same boat, but like how the things that you feel like you struggle at, so other students are struggling with the same thing. And just nice to see how people can relate, you know, to what you're going through in terms of studying medicine. I'm not saying like medicine like depressing or something, but like, you know, there's a lot of challenges and it's, it's when you see people going through the same thing, it's kind of like, oh, I'm not alone. <laughs> So this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. <laughs>